Howdy Tinker Nerds, welcome to Tinkernut Labs. This week we're going to be learning about wireless power, and if you want to know the principles behind wireless power, you can click here to watch my previous video. What we'll be doing for this project is using that knowledge to create this neat little wireless Minecraft lamp. Alright, there's a lot to do, so let's start tinkering. Here's what we're going to need for this project. A 1K ohm resistor, a low power LED, a 30 gauge magnetic wire, an MPN transistor, AA battery, soldering equipment, and if you want it to look cool, a small toy lamp. You can find more information on the parts needed at this link. Alright, the first thing that you want to do is make an electromagnetic receiver coil. To do this, you want to start coiling the wire, leaving about an inch for each lead. The coil should also be approximately an inch in diameter. I just used the handle of this screwdriver to wrap it around. You want to have about 30 coils before you stop, and then when you're done, slide it off the handle and you can wrap the leads around the coil to hold it together. If your wire is coated, you want to use a lighter to burn the coating off the leads. And then you want to take the LED and solder its leads to the leads of the receiver. Now that that's done, you can set it aside and we'll start on making the electromagnetic inducer. It begins the same as the other coil did, except this time stop about halfway through, approximately 15 wraps, and pull out about an inch of wire and then continue coiling for the remaining 15 wraps. Tie off the leads, just like before, burn the coating off, then take the soldering gun and solder this transistor leg to one of the outside leads and the middle leg to the resistor. Then solder the other end of the resistor to the other outside lead. To power up the inductor, we'll take a AA battery and connect the positive end to the middle lead and the negative end to the remaining leg of the transistor. This should send electricity through the coil producing an electromagnetic field around the wires. So now if you take your receiving coil and place it within the electromagnetic field, the LED should light up and the coils won't even have to touch. So there you have it, you've made your very first wirelessly powered LED. Pretty simple I know, but what you can do now is turn it into something cool. I was able to take the inducer and tape it to the lid of this box, and then I was able to take the receiver and put it in this little Minecraft treasure chest so whenever you set the treasure chest on the box, the LED lights up. But gigafied, LEDs are cool and all, but what about wireless charging? Well, if you're ready to take that next step, you can head over to the Tinkernut.com store where I have wireless charging kits available for purchase. Alright guys, if you have any ideas for future projects, be sure to submit those at Tinkernut.com slash ideas. And if you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider subscribing, donating, commenting, liking, following, or becoming a patron. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.